Uh, I want to start with congratulations on the movie. I thought you guys did such a great job. I don't say that on every film, I promise. Um, I, I, I can't imagine what it, what it was like being a part of this and getting to play this character and being a part of this film. Um, who was the most excited of your friends and family that you were like part of this? I always say my dad, but now that I'm thinking about it, it was my grandmother. That, which makes more sense, actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was like, BB King, huh? Yes, indeed. And I was like, yes, indeed, Nana. Yes, indeed. So it's, it's been a real, it's been a, it's been a real um, honor and, and privilege. I would imagine when you're getting ready to do a film like this, there's a lot of research. You're going through as much as you can to prepare. What was like one of the one or two things that you learned, either about BB or Elvis, that really sort of floored you? Floored me, you know? Actually, you know, I did not know about this whole Colonel Tom Parker situation. And that was like baffling. And I found that, that when I started reading the script, I was like, wow, what a one, a brilliant end to the story from Baz. Um, and then two, what a tragic way to, to, to find out oh, this is, was the decline of Elvis Presley as we know him. Um, so those were the things, but then also the friendship between BB and, and Elvis. I didn't know about that as well, and I was actually that was very uplifting to me and very inspiring to see that brotherhood, to see that support of artist to artist. Um, so the, yeah, th those were the two things I think that shocked me the most. I thought Austin did such a tremendous job. As yeah, he's fantastic. Um, what was it like for you first time you saw him on set as Elvis and the transformation that he did? I heard about it two years before I even got there because I was one of the last. I was in the last wave of the cast, and um, I heard he was like prepping and doing the voice, and I was like, so I was anticipating this like really beyond transformation. And then I got there and I was still blown away. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, people say they're doing this, and I was like, a lot of actors like to go to the extremes, and you know, it's just all for nothing, you know. And then I see it, and I was like, wow, he's man managed to fully take on the voice. I mean, we're having jam sessions with Yola, an incredible voice, Gary Clark and Shanka and all these gospel singers from Memphis. Austin is singing with them as Elvis. And I'm just like, first of all, you have to know that you've done it to be able to have the confidence to do that. So it was, um, I was really inspired by it all. Honestly, I was really proud of him and I was really inspired to see the commitment and how much fun he was having in that space. One of the things about the film is that Baz is, his editing makes, like, that's sort of his last thing that he does to the movie. And you can't read that in the script the way it's going to look on screen. And I'm very curious what it was like for you finally seeing his vision come to life because, you know, the editing is such a huge part of this film and the way he is doing split screens and the music. You know what I mean? Well, you can kind of feel it. I feel like I can feel it when I'm shooting with him, you know? And, like, he actually showed me some stuff when I first got there before I even started shooting because they had already shot so much of the Colonel. Like, um, Tom was done by the time I got to the shoot. So I got to see a little bit of the world, so I had a better idea of what movie I was making. Um, and I think it also was very important to, for us to kind of come into it and know what is the style of the performance that you're giving. You know, because it's like the conversation is like, well, how B.B. King do we go? And, you know, or how B.B. King and Baz's world do we kind of make it? You know, is it about the spirit? Is it about the, the details? Is that Elvis's space or is that my space as well? You know, so, um, but also, but still when you see it, it, it takes you on a full experience and you, you just, you ride the wave. You put your, your safety belt on and you go on a roller coaster. I completely agree. Listen, again, I want to say congrats on the movie. Hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Um, thank you so much for giving me your time.